Hey guys, Chris from CCOP Studios. I'm here to talk to you about the best amp in the entire world. Welcome to the show. I recently got the Red Plate Magica, and I am super happy with this amp because it allows me to tailor my tone to what I want it to be. We'll start at the front. Right next to where you plug in your instrument, there is the volume, treble, middle, and bass. With this demo, I'm just leaving them flat so you can see what that sounds like. You can determine what sounds the best for you when you get it. Uh, for the demo, I'm just leaving them flat. The volume is slightly past 12 o'clock, and that's basically where we're going to leave it for this uh, demo here. I got the master volume also about 12 o'clock, and the reverb is uh, engaged, but it's, it's off. It doesn't have any. It's not sounding. So the volume has a bright pull on it. So if you pull out the volume knob on the clean channel, you're going to get the bright channel. So it adds in highs and the high end of the guitar. It really accentuates those frequencies. It's very noticeable. Uh, you got this switch on the front which controls the mids. So this clean channel is meant to emulate a blackface, a Fender blackface sort of a sound, um, which has sort of a natural mid scoop, a lot of bass, a lot of highs, uh, very clean, pristine sort of a sound. Um, in the 50 watt setting on this amp, with this set to normal or less, you get a very blackface sound, scooped mids, and uh, it's very much that tones. Very clean, pristine, a lot of headroom, very nice. Um, we'll go through all those different settings. And then on the back, it has settings for your instrument, like what you're using. If you have a single coil, if you're using a Strat, if you've got a Les Paul or something like this where you're using humbuckers, it's got little pictures on it, you'll see, that actually show a single coil, a humbucker, and then there's a fat mode. The fat mode is really thick. Very bassy, uh, very full on the low range and low mid range. Um, so you can get a lot of punch out of that. The cab is an open back, but with the fat engaged, it's, it sounds very much like a closed back. A lot of kick, a lot of push there uh, on the speaker. So it sounds almost like a closed back. So like I said, there's a lot of options. We're going to go through them and see um, some different sounds and get some different tones here. This is going to be just our basic tone. So we got it set on the normal mid selection and the humbucker setting on the back. This is what I'm going to call our sort of baseline tone here. And here we are on the single coil middle pickup here on the J Custom. difference there just in the guitar obviously but those are the different tones that these uh, three pickups make just on what I'm calling the flat tone on the amplifier now we're gonna pick a tone and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with some of these settings here and you're gonna get a chance to hear what the amp can do based on this baseline <laughs> sounds the way that it's boosting the midsection or cutting the midsection I'm not a technical guy I don't know exactly whether it's cutting or boosting what the actual decibels are that would be a question for their website or send them an email and, and ask them exactly what it's doing but uh, that's what I'm hearing and probably if the mic is doing its thing uh, that's what you're hearing as well so it, it cuts and then sort of levels and then sort of boosts the mids um, so there's less normal and fat, right? So we're going to leave it on the normal mid setting, and now we're going to switch between the different uh, selections on the back of the amp 
the single coil, the humbucker, and the fat. So here's the humbucker. That's going to be the least amount of lows, the least amount of low end. It's uh, sort of compensating for the darkness of the humbucker sound. So that's where we're at right now. That's this sound. <laughs> It's just pushing a lot of air, um, so it's like it's like really thumping there. On the 50 watt setting, you can get some really nice, pristine, clean tones. You can put a ton of juice into it, ton of volume into it, and just beautiful. <laughs> distortion at all. switch yet. The bright switch is something that I um, don't really use that much. Uh, one thing I do like about it is when we're on the bridge pickup, especially on a darker guitar like a humbucker, um, if we uh, engage if we engage some really fat mids and we engage some really fat lows and then we put it into the bright and then we put it into the bright mode, it really helps to clean things up a little. massive tone. All right, so now we're going to go over the presence and depth controls. We're going to leave the guitar where it's been at, fourth position, bridge, and uh, middle pickup. Ride the volume a little bit. It's not real high. The presence and the depth are going to be more noticeable on your higher gain channel, uh, but I like to leave them somewhere in the middle. Um, I like to leave them actually directly in the middle of 12 o'clock. I like to add in a little bit of that color, but especially on the solos, on the gain stages, when you get up into higher gains and um, on the neck pick, or on the bridge pickup and you're getting really high, it can be a lot. It can be sort of overwhelming. Um, so I like to leave in the middle of the road. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview of the clean channel on the Red Plate Magica. There's a lot there, there's a lot of stuff. I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm gonna do two separate videos, one for the clean channel, one for the overdrive channel. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Just ask, I'd be happy to answer them, tell you exactly what pedals and what stuff I'm using in my setup. But this has just been a demo of the amp itself. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Keith and the guys over at Red Plate Amps. I appreciate you guys very much. The amp is rocking and uh, keeping me rocking. Thank you guys so much. Catch you next time.